All right, here is a video review for Studio Series Deluxe Wheeljack. He is Studio Series 81 from the Bumblebee movie, or Transformers Bumblebee, whatever you want to call it. Um, he's a wheeljack. He's a slightly off-white. Uh, we're shooting on the black background because of the two I got today, and just a quick view on mode comparison. Here are Wheeljack and Ratchet. You can see Wheeljack's a little bit more of an off-white. Ratchet is a very bright white. Um, and on a white background, does not work that well. So uh, if you're wondering why the change up. Uh, some of it is it's a little easier to just leave the back, the black up instead of pulling it away for the white background underneath it. But also, they just look better here on the black background than they did on the white. But anyway, here's Wheeljack. Um, and like I said, their, their, their size, Ratchet's a, a kind of a, I mean, I guess he's taller, but he, he's a much larger robot, but a very you know, chibbly little uh, uh, vehicle mode. We'll talk more about him in, in his video. We'll show off together in robot mode in the Ratchet video. Uh, you've seen the vehicle mode comparison here in Wheeljack's. So yeah, Wheeljack, here's his weapon. He, he kind of looks like a fancy shoe, nice little high-tech sneaker with wheels. And he rolls really well. I love his color scheme. I, li I like the off-white. I like the red and green, the more visible green uh, with the red uh, here in vehicle mode. A cool little. It's kind of a brownish colored cannon. It's not entirely black. It's kind of a deep brown. But it works. But it just pegs in right here. And it only pegs in one way. There's a this little oddly shaped angled peg on one side of the gun. only pegs into this side of it. It sits in the, it, the, the way it's or or oriented. It sits with the, the barrel atop the middle of the car, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, take that off. Also, like his head just turns sideways for transformation. The very few transformers just have it turn sideways, and I just thought that was a neat idea. Anyway, we'll get to that. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. The um, the arms are the last thing that go in in the transformation in the booklet, and they kind of. Um, there you go. Normally I have a, a harder time getting them out from under this lip here. But uh, yeah, just unpack them like that. They're, they're slightly tabbed together. They're not locked locked together, but you can see there is a little tab here on this arm that slots into this arm, but it doesn't really... It's more of just a keep them from moving. I guess one side will move independently and then we'll move it together. Anyway, it's there, just for FYI. And then unpeg the arms from here. Then this piece untabs from the front here, lift the wheels up, and then you can unpeg this, little, uh, this whole assembly here and unsnap the legs from each other. Go ahead and pull the head out like that. The legs always give me a little bit of trouble just because I always want to pop. So you want to bring the wheel in. There's a hinge here and a hinge here, and sometimes that'll snap off trying to bend it like that. We're going to bring the wheel to the interior here, uh, flip the feet like this, and these actually end up... Unlike a lot of wheel jacks where these become his toes, these actually end up being his heels. His toes are right here. So, br but bring the wheel around so it's kind of the top of it's kind of sitting along the edge here and it's angled back away from that because this panel now comes down uh, and rotates in like this. Actually, you probably want it a little easier to rotate it this way because it sits in the groove here. Just down like that. So as you can see, the wheel kind of uh, just kind of sits there. Put those latches. Oh, there we go. There's a little kind of tab on the wheel that kind of sits in that notch uh, like that. And then this piece pulls out a little bit right here, the shin piece, and then rotates. I can't remember if you rotate it outwardly. But then it also, there's a little tab, little tab here right on the front of this side piece that slots right in here into that shin piece. You just push that back in. And that kind of locks that whole assembly together. It's not locked lock, but it just kind of makes it all come together properly. And the same thing on this leg. Bring this down. And I tab that into the wheel there. Flip this up. Rotate it down and then push it in like that. And the legs are done. Rotate them around to the front. And then down up here, actually before you rotate them around to the front, Flip this back down so you can bring the arms out like this and then rotate them out and around like that. And then you can lift this back up. And then you can rotate this back around like that. And then the head comes up right here, rotate it forward, fold it down at this hinge right here, 
It's a little stiffer than the other one, so fold it down like that. And you can see there's a couple little slots here on the interior of these wheel pieces that the head pegs into. It doesn't peg in tight like it doesn't latch latch, but it will uh, go on there. And it'll hold its place, but it doesn't take much to pop it loose. Um, but it's not the end of the world. And then you fold this up, fold this little green panel down like that, fold this tip panel down up into that, and then this whole assembly just kind of folds up on to his chest, and then there's a couple tabs here that go into these slots, and you just kind of just line that, fold that so it lines up. And there's wheel jack in robot mode, and then he's got his little, on the back of his arms, his little shoulder wings. I, li I like the detailing back here with the wheels in on the torso. Um, and there's wheel jack, and he's a nice looking little wheel jack. I love his head sculpt. Uh, I, li I like the shape of his body. Like, I really love his car mode, but I just he's just a fun little robot. Um, he can hold his gun in his hand like that, or you can use these are just a little friction pegged in here because they they don't do a lot. They're a little awkward here in robot mode, they, but they just angle just a smidge for vehicle mode uh, to allow that gun to fold in because there's the tab for the gun. So, but they're on hinges. I wish they just made that in a set position and just either screwed or made it part of the mold, but uh, sometimes it will pop loose. But his head's got a ball joint at the neck. The, the wings can move up and down. Dual hinge at the shoulder. Actually, it's a ball joint there in the shoulder. Bicep swivel. He does have dual hinged elbows. No wrist swivel, but uh, he does have a dual hinge elbow there. You got the waist swivel, the ball joint in in the, the thigh, as well as a rotation there, or in the hip, and then a rotation there just at the thigh. And about 90 degree knees, and then he's got front to back, and a little bit of tilt, not much, but a little degree of tilt there at the ankle. But I was saying his gun can, you can hold it like this, and instead of using the square tab, um, you can use the tab on the other side of the gun. You, you can just use the, uh, the post if you want to, but it's designed to use this little post here on the side uh, to store his gun across his back if you want. And again, we'll get a whole group shot here going, but just real quick, here he is with uh, Bumblebee, Cybertronian Bumblebee. Just to give me an idea of where he's at. These are smaller deluxes uh, than in the past, but um, they're still fun. So yeah, quick size comparison. There is Studio Series 81 Deluxe Wheeljack. Definitely one. I haven't. I picked up Wheeljack and Ratchet. I haven't gotten Brawn yet. I haven't ordered Perceptor. I have Perceptor on order, but I haven't gotten them yet. These came from Amazon uh, the other day. Brawn, I'll get maybe Brawn, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, Wheeljack, he's cool. I th I do think I was expecting to like him more, and I do really like him. But I do think Ratchet's the better of the two. I think I enjoy Ratchet a little bit better. But just a smidge. They're both really fun toys. Anyway, there's Studio Series Wheeljack from Transformers Bumblebee. And uh, it's nice to see these Cybertronian designs getting some love.